What's up Legends? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies and we're going to be trying out the new STG-44 Assault Rifle from the Season 5 Battle Pass. So if you guys are wondering where you unlock this, it's a part of the Season 5 Battle Pass. You just got to level up your Battle Pass enough and you will get access to it. Now if you guys are interested in the loadout I'm running in today's video, I will include it in the pinned comment down below for easy access to all the attachments. But outside of that, the plan is for this to do a progressional run like we normally do. So we're going to start out doing at least one tier one bounty with pack a punch level one to make sure I pop all my stuff. Then from there, we'll go into the tier two zone and we'll pretty much upgrade as we feel it's required. So hopefully in that case, we'll be able to at least complete a bounty without having to go to Epic. But you know what? Not really sure what to expect with this STG. Okay, we got our tier one bounty here. Now, if you are unfamiliar with how I do these runs, essentially what we're going to do is eventually make it into the high threat zone and just challenge as much stuff as we can in that zone with the weapon. Obviously, when we first get in there, we'll be pack a punch level two purple more than likely, and we will do as much as we can with that, or at least see what's possible, hoping that we don't have to upgrade, then continue upgrading, completing a few more things in tier three, just to see how well the weapon actually performs. I won't be going into the dark ether in this one. I have kind of a plan that maybe I will revisit the weapons going into the dark ether, rocking a MAGA holding, maybe some golden armor, just a few more things that will upgrade us for those specific runs unless I come across a random team doing so and I can just join them for it. But I do actually need to pack a punch here. I was going to melee a pack a punch to keep the camo, but it was not in the cards for this run. Why am I getting attacked so profusely already? And there we go. Now we can actually fight. All right, Mangler, what you got? Hey, you're getting destroyed. Nice. W. And we got a pack one crystal, which we don't need. And a backup self-revive. Now, that was the main reason we came over here for the backup self-revive. Just because we don't really know what to expect when it comes to the rest of this journey. It is better to plan to be safe than to be sorry later. Now, the main hope here that we're grabbing our first tier two bounty with this is going to be not a disciple. Oh, my God. It's a That's really bad. Oh, this could be interesting. Well, we're still going to try it. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. More than likely, we're not going to be able to do this just pack a punch level one. But I'm not going to count out the STG quite yet. I will at least give it a chance. We will at least attempt it. We're buying ammo, cash. There's no reason why we can't at least try. If it gets out of hand, we'll we'll upgrade. Is what it is. I will say, though, the ammo reserve for this seems kind of whack. I mean, I did use the new SMG first, which has a ridiculously nice ammo reserve. And it was kind of, uh, I don't know. Maybe it was kind of a troll to have done that. I should have probably done the SMG sec second. That way it wouldn't feel as bad about this ammo capacity we have here. I mean, to be expected, this is supposed to be a bit of a challenge, but this is kind of crazy. Okay. I and mean, I haven't got to really focus damage on said disciple. Can we even break the hand? That's the real, that's the real question. We can. Sort of. This is ridiculous how tanky guy is though, huh? They reload. Oh, he went far away. Okay. Yeah, we got some armored. It did it dragged my aim, like I'm purposely aimed in a specific spot. Sometimes it just pulls my aim off. Okay. If I didn't have this ammo reserve thing here, I wouldn't even try this. But I might I might still upgrade to be honest. Nope. I'm gonna have to use this to my advantage. Come on. Yeah, this is ridiculous. We're going to run out of ammo because it's so hard to do enough damage. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to upgrade sooner than I wanted to. It's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. It means we might have more time in tier three. But it's kind of sad because I wanted to do... I wanted to do at least one bounty without having to use a rarity tool. Not in the cards. Not in the cards. Good news though, now that we've epic rarity, not that big a deal. Even though it is still a bit tanky. Okay, we'll hold on to that, why not? Might as well hold on to one of them. Get some extra plates and onward to our next adventure. Now we got ourselves a mangler. So now we're kind of working backward. I think after this one, no matter what, we'll probably go pack punch level two, but it'd be nice to see how it does against a normal, not disciple bounty before we make that decision. If we can get through half of its health at least. Almost. Oh, we actually got through all of it. Not having to reload. That's actually a W, considering the weapon isn't the most incredible as far as ammo reserve. But hey, at least we have a 100 round mag after we pack a punch. 
But it's not the worst. It's not the worst. I mean, there is a potential we run out of ammo with this weapon, which is unfortunate. I don't really understand the balancing of the ammo reserves or how that stuff works for this game. But I don't think it's done super well. And that's maybe just my opinion. But yes, the fact that there's an SMG that also by default has a 50 round mag that does start with 100 after Pack-A-Punch has a 800 or 900 total if you include the non-reserve ammo. That's kind of insane. And this one has like 450. Well, it took a moment to make my way back to this side of the map and grab another bounty, but we're going to go ahead and pack a punch to level two. We shouldn't wait too much longer. I mean, granted, we got the disciple off the rip, made us more inspired to upgrade a little sooner. We got a disciple once again, though, so perfect. Now we get to do it pack two purple. Now, this is how we're going to enter into the tier three zone as well. And I think after this one, maybe we'll go take on a mega abomination then we'll head into high threat and we'll see what the challenges in there have in store for us i think it's going to be a bit rough compared to how the smg perform but i think it's still going to be fine i mean this thing isn't insanely busted by any means pack two purple it was enough to do it without having to reload and we got a rare tool out of it let's go ahead and restock even though we don't need to that's kind of funny one time i remember to restock before heading out is the one time I don't actually need a restock. Time to see what our mega buddy has in store for us. Come on, mega buddy. Come on this way. Also some buddies over here. Okay. Start firing. Gotta hit those crit shots. Aim at the right face. I mean, using iron sights and zombies probably isn't that big a deal, but I don't know how much you would want to use these in any other mode. It is nice for this, though. I mean, we don't really need to see that that clearly through the sights kind of know we're shooting a zombie in the head or in this case a mega bomb in the face forgot i don't have ehd on fire on this on the deck here there's a fire on the deck and it's damaging me oh wasn't expecting him to do that all right Just keep firing oh, this isn't this is uh going fairly smooth could be way worse we haven't ran out of ammo that's great Granted, we might have gotten a little bit more gifted than some of the other runs we've done with weapons of similar ammo reserves. Slowly but surely. I don't think the damage is, like, insanely busted with this. But it's definitely doing the trick. I mean, that is what... That's the reality. It's going to do what we need. Oh, here we go. Guaranteed crit spot. And we're getting there. Nope, still a little bit to go. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely weaker than the SMG. By at least a little bit. Don't know how big of a deal that actually is, but... We got the Mega Bomb down. The first step in the Tier 3 adventure. Now we're headed into the High Threat Zone. I'm going to go ahead and make my way over toward the Plaza area. Grab some perks. Maybe we'll see if the Triangle's still available or if there is one in general. I don't know if anybody's in the zone. Nobody's in tier three, which might be crazy to some of you down in the comment section below. You'll have to let me know. What's the what's the chances when you go into a match that you have limited amount of people in the high threat zone? All right, perk time. Here we go. Let's get this, that. I mean, we're getting everything except for tombstone. I mean, we really just don't need don't need it. I can do anything for us. Gotta get rid of everybody with an energy mine. One thing, it doesn't seem to be too big of an issue yet. I mean, we're going to find out here pretty quickly. As the armored dudes. It seems to be just fine against armored, which is one of the big concerns you have when a weapon is less than ideal. Now, I don't think, and I'm not trying to discredit the STG too much here, because I do think the new SMG is fairly good. Probably within the next, the top, not the next, the top, like, five, ten weapons and, and zombies to use right now. So, I don't want to say anything too crazy, but this thing is definitely not as good as the SMG up to this point. I definitely felt way stronger with pack two epic with the smg up in, up to the point we're at now than i do currently with this stg 44 and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that this doesn't mean that this thing is absolutely terrible this means the smg category still ends up being one of the strongest i actually didn't check i don't think it's here so not a big deal or it is okay i got lost in the sauce there for a second and now we are back Go ahead and see. I didn't hear it, so it kind of threw me off. I was about to travel to the other side. Time for the triangle. Now we're going to use this to hold on to a pack three crystal. I want to try at least one contract in high threat zone before we go pack punch level three just to see how we do. 
Oh, we have an insta kill right now. It's going to be very deceptive. But hey, we'll take advantage of it, right? There's a mangler down below somewhere. Hopefully not planning to jump all the way up. Oh, there it is. Okay, a little concerning when it comes to that. Um, a little concerning when I turned and thought I killed that zombie a couple times and did not. That, so it might take more than I thought, but hey, we're still going to be able to make it happen. Come on, get rid of it. Oh, nice. Clutched up. We're holding it down. Yeah, I don't think it's as quite as strong as the SMG, but it is, it's doing just fine. We're doing just fine, at least for this part. It is fun to have somewhat of an old school style weapon, even though I don't think this is technically old school. It was in COD 4 as well. So, I mean, I'm not a super, I'm not a super knowledgeable guy when it comes to weapon history. So maybe this weapon is still used during the time period in which this game takes place. And I just don't know about it, but I'm not opposed to it either way. I think it, I think it's cool. Okay, this just seems like it's taking quite a while, but maybe it's just the flow of zombies is fairly slow. There we go. Finally got through it. That wasn't a huge struggle. I've definitely had bigger issues with other weapons in the past. Now it's time to see what kind of adventure lies ahead with the contracts in the zone. I'm going to try to get to the bounty first because that is ideally what I would like to challenge with this weapon before we pack a punch to level three. What in the heck? I came over here to get the contract. Someone beat me to it. They took off and this was left behind massive pile of enemies the heck now there's a dude behind me the triangle's still available too which i don't actually need i would like plates if they're available and i'm gonna make my way over to the raid weapon stash instead we'll, we'll do the raid weapon stash first hopefully we'll get a bounty after bro can i got not get back to back hellhounds i'm trying to avoid taking damage they're trying to stack the damage against me raid weapon stash here we go Time to full send. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the button, even though I might get whacked a few times. Nope, we're good. Climb up on top, and we made it to the safe spot, for the most part. Let's go. Okay. Now all we got to do is hold it down. It might start a little crazy, since I don't know what all was chasing me, but normally the beginning and most of this is a pretty slow engagement. But we are not eliminating the zombies incredibly fast. Remember... Pack 2 epic. That's where we're at right now. Now, is it keeping up? Yes. Is it super strong? I don't think so. Doing just enough. We didn't have dead shot, though. We weren't hitting crits. This would be a terrible experience, but the same could be said for quite a few weapons in this realm. But it is fun, in my opinion, to have a progression style of run over just souping myself all the way up and then going in and assuming that the weapon is better than it might actually be. Because I don't think... You know, despite what people might feel like is the case, don't think everybody playing this mode on a regular basis is only in tier three, only ever pack three legendary. I think that's kind of, I think that would be a misconception for sure. I don't think that that's the case, especially now that the game pass does have this, this game available for free. I think we're going to see a lot more people who are not as deep into the game and maybe aren't going into tier three quite as often as a majority of you might be. And that's all right. You know what I mean? Still going to want to know a weapon for reasonable outside of its ultimate power. And that's our goal. All right, we're still holding it down here. My contract almost died. Let's see right here, 99%. I literally got five zombies the last 20% of the, of the contract. Maybe there's a reason for it. We already have a death perception. That's okay. We'll just hold on to it. Probably end up deleting it. No big deal, right? Now, we got to see if we can find us. Oh, well, it does not look like we can. Maybe I'll wait a second and see if one spawns in. Kind of weird that there's not a single bounty, but maybe the other person's still fighting one. Hoping one does spawn in soon. Oh, this is the guy that got the bounty. Is he still fighting the bounty? What is he trying to do? He might be trying to do what the Zero to Hero guys do when they're trying to not go into any other zone. Probably just trying to use the streak to cheese the, the kill, which is cool. It works for you. Good, good job. Oh, we got to run. Disciple with... Oh, we're probably going to have to pack a bunch to level 3. Luckily, we have the crystal and we don't have to worry about it, but... Why am I dropping essence? Can my backpack close? What the hell's going on here? Dude, my controller. What's going on here? No, no plates again. Wonderful. 
Okay, I gotta battle these zombies before we continue heading over because I don't... Oh my god, now there's a Mimic? Like, where did these dudes come from? I think the Mimic got smoked. I'm trying to get some plates before we fight our Disciple, but it's making me fight for my life. Yo. Like, I don't have plates for these battles. Everybody can't be this fast. It's too crazy. Alright. We're not in complete danger now. We have a couple plates. We could just... These dudes are so tanky. That's how you know it's not quite as good as the SMGs. Just in general. Doesn't mean it's not great. Doesn't mean it's not decent. Doesn't mean it's not viable. Just means it's not as good as the SMGs. That's it. I probably should have grabbed some decoys. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully we're going to be able to at least ch challenge this somewhat reasonably. It really depends on a couple of factors here. But we haven't done any damage to it yet, so not really worried about that. Can we break its hand? Oh, oh, not there. I gotta get through the zombies. They're just too tanky. Look at this. That is way too long to have to aim at a zombie. Oh yeah, I don't think we can... I don't think this thing's got the power. Actually, no, look at these guys. They're just relentless. I'm trying. I mean, half of it is there's just so many zombies and I'm having to make my way through them. The other half is it's a disciple. Um, can I get through it? I'll keep, I'll try a little longer before we pull that upgrade. Just because there's literally so much stuff attacking me. Come on, can I get through you guys? Can we, can we get a dull moment for a second here? That's the hope. That's the hope. I mean, too many bullets. Shouldn't take a 20 stack to shoot that guy in the face. I get he's juiced, but a little too crazy. Okay, we broke the ability there. And now we're doing some damage. Time to reload. Out of ammo, basically. Takes me a majority of my ammo to break the ability. Yeah, we might have to be upgrading here. I mean, it's simple. I don't have... Oh, well, maybe... Is healing up though. I'm gonna have to use these posts to my advantage here. Can we stop? It's literally all it's trying to do. And now we might be able to pull this off. Let's see. Took me a minute to set it up correctly. Definitely not ideal. Like, there's so many weapons that would do this way easier. Or at least a handful of weapons, I think. The saving grace is these poles. Using the pillars to save the day. I don't know why this guy's trying to help me now. Well. He's bringing his entire horde over here, which is not what I... I don't really love that. Maybe he's trying to get the... Is there a vehicle over here or something? He's making me fight more zombies, which I'm not trying to do. Yep. Trying not to fight the zombies. Let's go. Now I got another Mimic. I mean, it was nice when I didn't have aggro. This guy's more focused on my bounty than he is. Getting, get, get away. Get away. This is why I don't like other players in the, in the mode. I know a lot of you probably enjoy the fact there's 20-something players on the map. This is what I do not enjoy. I completely cleared out the area, and dude brought all of his zombies over here. All of them. Where is my dude at? That's not my dude. This is so stupid. Where is my bounty? I'm trying to get away from this guy. And he's underneath. He's down below. Where's where's what? Come here. He's gonna kill my bounty. Yeah, don't do this. Whatever you do. If you see other people in the game, if they want your help, they'll they'll ask. Don't do this. Now that we're doing this outlast here, let's go ahead and pop our pack a punch level three. We're still not legendary yet. I really wish I could activate the outlast in this game without having to deal with this stupid bug. Because the one time I'm getting it, the zombies come up and I have to shoot them, and then I have to try all over again. It's like resets it. There we go. Worked out there. This guy's coming back again for some reason. Hopefully he figures it out. Definitely don't need the assistance. Go ahead and see how this goes. He's probably going to fight 90% of our zombies. I have no idea what this player is doing. They do not seem interested in doing their own contracts because they grabbed a bounty and left it over here. So I'm not sure what the plan is. All right, it's been slow for a majority of this, but now it's starting to pick up a little bit. I thought I saw a disciple coming. Disciple coming, our 
tier three friend left and went on his own his own adventure, which is great. Can't shoot anything. It's a uh, brain rotted. Get rid of this disciple, not quickly. Oh, this double disciple. One of them tried juiced off the other. They didn't even realize that was a problem. Guess I might as well throw this down. Can't see. It's too much chaos. All right, get everybody out of here. Nice. W. Yeah, this this weapon struggles a touch. I mean, it's not insane, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like you have to be legendary pack three, but it significantly helps. Okay, nice. We got a mega abomination. Hopefully this time we can do our fight by ourselves. That guy left, left. Never mind. He's gone, gone. We're good. We are Gucci now. We do have a mimic behind us. That's kind of scary. Did not see that coming. Um, as long as we can get rid of it before it destroys me. Nice. Allow him there to get the backup hit since the mimic could not. Run! Okay, this is not one of the most ideal locations to fight the Mega Bomb. We're going to have to fight a lot of stuff in a second here. I don't know exactly where it's going to come up at yet, though. Oh, it's going to come up the ladder. Um, hopefully not at a rate that we got to go crazy and use our energy mine, but definitely a lot of stuff coming over here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everybody wants the smoke. Oh, reloading is a little slow. Come on. Let's just get through the majority here. I mean, there's nobody in Tier 3. We're going to have all the aggro. There's a Mimic coming from somewhere. Be able to do most damage to it, I can, before it gets up here. So a lot to have to deal with before we can even think about our our guy. Um, hopefully some people dropped, or some, some zombies. I guess at one point they were probably people. Let's say hopefully they dropped some ammo, and they did. We have full ammo. We just need to get an angle here. Okay. Hopefully... Sometimes you can inspire the laser ability if you lay down on the side of the roof. It's not working here, though. I'm not sure what the deal is. As long as we're getting crits, though. Look at that. Oh, lost it. We lost the spot. There we go. One face down. I could technically not get on this thing over here. Do it. Oops. I did not even dive. Come on. Let me get up there. All right, sweet. Now we can just focus up. Hopefully we can break the face. That's a W. You know it's not a W. Zombies having the ability to have the kind of accuracy they do. These stupid flesh bods. These little flesh things are so stupid. Uh-huh. Everybody's charging. Charging toward me. I'm going to try to get up on this. See if I can influence another laser. Maybe not high enough. Not to get up here. Now I should be able to influence one. And I'll also drop that down below. Okay, that didn't work on the laser part, but perfectly fine. Somehow he still made it up here. Okay, back up plates. It's just chaos with all the zombies. Oh, another mimic. What in the heck? What is up with you mimics? Where are you coming from? Is the mega bomb spawning in these friends? Where'd these guys come from? How'd they get a invite to the party? Okay, we're almost there. We got rid of it. Nice. Took us a little while there, but hey, we made it through. Backup jug. Don't really need it, but I'll grab it. Why not? And we're in good shape. That was uh, pretty decent. Now I'm I'm going to go ahead and just pop our legendary for the end here. Now, for those of you that get disappointed that you don't get to see me using the legendary tool for the entirety of the match... Sorry to tell you, I just don't care that much to show you guys what it's like to have the most powerful version of the weapon. And you could pretty much do that on any and every channel on YouTube currently that does zombies content. So, hey, I'm here to show the progression. If it does well enough or if we, we get through enough, we pop our legendary tool or it becomes more of a requirement, we do it earlier. But in this one, we didn't have to. So we're at least going to do it for the end here. I do need some ammo in order to get us through this adventure and i definitely need some plates so hopefully something drops in okay one last bounty to rule them all go down here take a quick peek in here there's a zombie these are just way too quick get lo locked in and we got a mangler well at least we get a mangler for the last one some variety what the hell is it oh it's the not so epic spot but we might be able to influence that a little bit oh we made it up here to our rooftop vibes there's Octunala. 
What a, what crazy names, right? I'm pretty sure they just pulled these out of a magical hat or AI created them. There's no way they actually have a meaning, but maybe they do. Can't even hit this guy consistently, but we're taking him out a little bit. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, oh my God. Why are we getting powerhouse by half the lobby? Dude, what in the hell was that? Yo, relax everybody. I do not have the utilities to be fighting like this. This is so stupid. Yes, I know you're insanely fast. I know you all want to destroy me and you don't want me to get anything done in this, but we're going to have to come to a compromise. I'm trying to fight this mangler and y'all are trying to smash my head. Let's see what we can do here. That was ridiculous though. I went from like nobody to holy smokes. There's an insane amount of zombies and they just keep coming. No plates though. Literally none. Yo, yo, holy. Yo, what is this horde? I don't, I'm not going to have time for this. We don't, we're limited. This is tier three. You got the storm. Holy. Max ammo's nice. Come on. I'm trying to get through all this. They just never end. Actually stupid. Our dude's over there still, and he hasn't even made his way over here at all. We need to fight him. We're not even hitting crits. Okay, nice. Nice. We get the flinch factor. See? How come a mangler has the flinch factor, but the zombies don't? One thing I never really understood. Toasted him. Just had to get him in the right spot. It all worked out. Well, this has been quite a bit of an adventure. I would say this is definitely weaker than the SMG, which is the most recent weapon I've used. I think that's more along the lines of the FJX Horus. So I don't know that this would be like a top five choice. I don't even know if it'd be in the top 10 as of right now, but it definitely lacks a little bit in the damage department. But overall, it does enough to be successful, at least solo in the high threat zone. So I would imagine, at least in a regular sigil, this could still be a viable option. Maybe when you get to the Elder Sigil, things get a bit squirrely, but let's be realistic. In an Elder Sigil, you're taking advantage of way more than just your weapon. So, depending on your situation, you might still be all right. Okay, we made it over to our Xfil. We survived the run. I think when it comes to the two new weapons, you absolutely want to go for the SMG first, but you should enjoy yourself and have a decent run no matter what you choose to use. Both of them are viable in the high threat zone solo, and I didn't even use the legendary tool for most of the run. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!